The Arabic Holy Quran revealed upon the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, during the years 609 to 632 CE is divided into 114 chapters, of which 86 chapters revealed in Mecca, 28 chapters revealed in the Medina. The chapters revealed in Mecca deals mainly in the Islamic creed, example, belief in Allah the Omnipresent and the Eternal, His angels, His books, His messengers, Resurrection and Judgment Day, and the Divine Preordained Good and Bad. Total chapter revealed in the Medina deals mainly in moral principles, legislations, community development, and warfare. The Holy Quran can only be read and recited in its original revealed Arabic language. Quran, Chapter 17, The Night Journey Revelation Place Mecca Revelation Order 50 Number of Verses 111 Glory Glory is only to Allah. His action is glorified whether you comprehend it, glorify it or not. Who took, mean walked and facilitated through, his worshipper, Muhammad peace be upon him, true worshipper, body and soul, by night, mean it was not seen, became a matter of belief, from the sacred mosque, which is Mecca, to the utmost mosque, similar far worship place, it's Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, around which we blessed, to show him our verses, signs, miracles. He is, means Allah, the hearer and the seeing. It's a matter of belief, unseen journey by unseen God. And we brought unto Moses the book in the Torah, and we made it guidance to the children of Israel, so they don't take other than me, mean lesser than God, a guardian. Offspring, mean the children of Israel, are among those we carried with Noah on the ark with other believers. Indeed, he, means Noah, was a thankful worshipper. And we decreed upon the children of Israel in the book, the Torah, that you would spoil in the earth twice and would rise to great hotness, mean worldly influence. So when the first promise of them arrives, we dispatched upon you worshippers of ours, devout only to Allah, mainly Arabia Muslim, of keen tolerance, mean great might, so they shall probe in between the homes, meticulously to weed out spoilers, and it is a done promise. Then we rebounded, mean bounce back for you, children of Israel, predominance, supremacy and upper hand upon them, mean Arabia Muslims, and we supplied you with wealth and children, and we made you more inducer, mean more influencer, gaining power by lauding your voice, gaining more world support over them, Arabia Muslims. If you do good, you do good for yourselves. And if you transgress, mean Allah's boundary, it's upon it. And when the second promise came, surely it will come as the future is definite for Allah. It will sadden your faces, your transgression will be exposed. And they, Arabia Muslims, will re-enter the worship place, mean the temple, the sacred mosque in Jerusalem, as they entered the first time during the Caliphate Omar, year 638, and destroy the hotness, what they ascended with aggression during the support of other nation, with utter destruction. Perhaps your God will have mercy on you, but if you return to transgression and disobeying, we return with more decrees. And we made Jahannam, which is hell or valley of Hinnam as known to the Jews, for the disbelievers a mat, inescapable tight confining mat that seals, restrict and trap the dirt under it like the residence of hell. Not as the Jews claims hell is just a temporary 12 months period for the shameful Jewish soul to cleanse itself and go to heaven. This Quran guides to that which is most upright and foretell the believers who do good deeds that they will have great wages. And those who don't believe in the hereafter, we prepared for them a painful torment. And humans invoke for evil, mean hateful usually when angry, as invoking good. And humans are hasty, 
just be patient for Allah's decrees. And we made the night and the day two signs, visual miracles. We erased the night miracle, no sun, darkness. And we made the day miracle visible, sun ray, clear light. So you may seek surplus from your God, additional rewards by your own effort over what Allah already gave you. And you might know the numbering of years and computation. The day sum cycle is computation for the days and the night moon cycle is computation for the months and the sum is numbers of the years. And everything means spiritually and physically separated with distinction, mean made it clearly classified like day and night, example Allah's command, prayers, time, cycle of the moon. And to every human we attach his bird onto his neck, mean his deeds attached to him so they cannot blame someone else and will bring out to him on the day of resurrection a book which he will find it widely published mean publicly and open available to read and be inspected by all read your book enough today yourself is upon you a sufficient calculator mean on judgment day human will lose willpower so yourself will be a truthful witness upon itself and a just calculator of your good and bad deeds Whoever is guided is guided for his own self, and whoever stray has strayed upon it. And no self way will be borne by other, mean every self will carry its own burden, no savior, no ransom, no substitute. And we would not punish until we send a messenger, mean a messenger to alert and lay down Allah's commands. And if we want to perish a village, we ordered its extravagant send our commands and allowed its lavish leaders or inhabitants so they transgress in it to disobey these commands so the true promise is justified commands come true to punish the transgressors so we destroy the destruction an extravagant village is an unjust village that will eventually perish so to set an example and reset life's cycle much we perished of nations, mean tyrants, from after Noah, and sufficient is your God of his worshippers' sins, knowing, seeing. It's sufficient for you that God knows his sins of his worshippers. Whoever wants the hasty, mean this world, immediate rewards, we hasten for him in it of what we will, to whoever we want, speed for him the rewards in this world only, and no saving for the hereafter that he does not believe in. Then we made for him Jahannam, which is hellfire, to arrive at disgraceful road, means shoved rolled on his back to its back end and forgotten. And whoever wanted the hereafter and thought, means strived to it, its thought, while he believes, means did what is commanded by Allah, it's those that thought, mean at their attempt, was appreciated. To each we extend to those the worldly desire group and those the hereafter rewards group from your God's grant and your God's grant is not restricted. Look how we bestowed some above other human ranking in this world whether they believe or not. And in the hereafter there is greater ranks and greater bestowment.